All right, so today I have this Tembo RC radio with me and I have the X6 variant with me which comes with six channels and I got this for $25. So I actually like the build quality of this. It feels quite comfortable. The steering and the throttle controls are also quite responsive. And the primary reason I got this is so that I can use it with my FPV system because this controller has a range of 500 meters and that is absolutely insane to have on a radio that is so cheap. So I'm definitely looking forward to test that and these are the controllers. You can adjust the trim levels from here and the endpoint adjustment for the steering and the throttle. And you can also reverse the polarity. And these are the channel 5 and 6 knobs. And if you look closely, you'll see that there's a micro USB port over here that you can use to power the controller with the power bank. And if you look here, just beside the USB port, you'll see that it's a 3.5 mm jack that you can use to connect your radio to a computer and use it as a simulator. So to power the controller, you'll need four AA batteries or you can even connect a LiPo battery, a 2S LiPo and there's a connection for that over here if you can see so you can either power this uh, through AA batteries, a LiPo battery or a power bank so and apart from the basic functions you can also mix modes uh, from this transmitter so you can use channel 1 and 2 simultaneously uh, to control two motors at the same time or two servos at the same time and so there's a lot that you can do with this transmitter but I'm only interested in the range and the few other channels that it has so so now I'll install this in my ATXL and see how it works so the ESCY will go in the channel 2 followed by the steering servo in the channel 1 and I'll also be using a servo with channel 5 which I will use to control the rotation of my FPV cam so and to enable the gyroscope there's a tiny switch inside the receiver Simply press it three times and the gyroscope will be enabled. So you can set the intensity with the channel 6 knob on the controller. So if I move the car, you can see that the gyroscope is broken and there is counter steering. So as you can see, that I can control the rotation of the FPV cam. Uh, with the channel 5 and so the only thing that I would like to test now is the range so make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you guys in the next one